Hi, my name is Joe. I'm a technician here at New Life Scientific. Um, I was changing a ultra low temperature freezer door seal and I was in the middle of it and I was like, ah, eh, this might be a good thing to record for you guys to see in case you want to do it yourself. There's really no need to call um, a refrigeration technician or anything like that to come out. It's something you can do on your own. It's pretty simple, especially for a thermo. I'm, this is a thermo um, Ultima Plus freezer. Uh, I can't speak to all different models of freezers, but thermo generally, they don't use adhesive for their seals. It just fits right into to slits in the door itself or in the, the freezer and in the door. So it's something you can do yourself. Um, I already took off the old seal because, let me find my damaged part here. <laughs> Someone actually partially repaired this, so it's hard to find the damage part now. <laughs> it's here somewhere though. But so, you know, you get, you, over, over time you get nicks like this, and sometimes people try to pry open the freezer door if it gets like frozen shut, and you get this kind of stuff. Um, and there's also a big one down here. There's this one, and this one actually, we thought about maybe repairing it, but they don't repair very well. So, there you go. So, this freezer was holding temperature, but it's something that's gonna, it's gonna let moisture in, it's gonna let frost develop, you're gonna get freezing issues, and it's gonna make it a little bit less efficient. So we figured we would, we would replace the seal. So I took this old seal off, and I'll give you a quick idea how simple it is. So this is the new seal I'm putting on, but this is literally how you take off the old seal. It just fits into this track here. You just let it press it in when you're installing it, but to take it out, you just pry in here, get it starting to come out, and then you literally just pull it out. It's crazy easy to, uh, to remove. Depending on who put the, the, the seal in you have, sometimes they put a bunch of silicone on it. You really don't have to do that. The only places that I really think makes sense to is up here. There's some, there's some gaps here where the plastic um, mounting points have gaps and whatnot. You kind of put a little caulking there and it helps hold in. I only put it on the four corners. This one's a double seal, so there's a corner here, corner here. So I only put the caulking in those, those four corners um, just to kind of help it hold in because there's, there's plastic parts that come and seal and you don't want any air around there at all. Um, but like on this one, I'll show you. This one was covered in, in uh, silicone. So this one was a little bit more annoying to take off than I had to clean out the tracks. So, but you don't have to put silicone on there like this unless there's something wrong with your freezer where the, uh, the seal goes in and it's like there's cracks or it's widening, then you might have to do something. But generally, it's literally as simple as peel it out and then just push it back in. So, I already have the top, I already have the top part in, the, sorry, the bottom of the top of the seal. Remember there's two this is a double seal, so there's two tracks that have to both be in. So I already have the, the whole top of this one in, and I'm gonna start putting this one in. See, so kind of just, the corners are kind of the hardest part to get in there because they're really beefy. But the rest of it is pretty simple. It's just a matter of pushing it in. Like I said, the corner, corners can be a bear sometimes. But you just start at one end and just keep feeding it into the little channel there. And once you get going, it's so easy. So instead of charging, you know, having a, a tech come out and charge you $300, $400, $500 to just do this, you can do it yourself. And considering the seal, this large seal right here, this seal costs around, it was around $300 from Thermo. So that's kind of pricey. So if you could not also have to pay a technician to come install it, that would be nice. Save you some money. And it really is just shockingly easy. When I first went to change one of these, it looks kind of intimidating because 
it's stuck in there so hard and so secure, you're like, well, certainly there's some kind of adhesive they're using to hold it in like that, and they're not. It just fits right into a channel. So easy. Warning though, your thumb and your fingers might get tired. So other than that, it's not too bad. It's really important to have good seals too. And these seals, even if you do treat them nice, they won't last forever. But a lot of people, you let ice build up too much by opening and closing your freezers too often and not letting it defrost once in a while. And you can start ripping seals or you'll get your door frozen shut and you have to get in there with a screwdriver. If you want to get in there right away, get in there with a screwdriver and pry it open. And you just ruined your seal. My poor right thumb is cramping. I said it was simple to do, but it's not necessarily, uh, it takes a little bit of physical work here. All right, so the seal's all pressed in through all the channels on the freezer. Um, remember I put a little bit of silicone here, 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 here on all the corners just to kind of hold it in. And like I said, there's some plastic underneath there that has gaps. May not be necessary, but I do it. It's not gonna hurt anything. I just wouldn't recommend necessarily going all the way around the whole thing with silicone because if you ever have to take it off again it's gonna be a pain um, I would recommend letting it dry I would I would close it put pressure on the seals like you would just like you were normally using it close it latch the handle let it sit for 24 hours before turning the freezer on to give the silicone time to to dry to cure it takes usually takes 24 hours and then you're good to go um, this freezer, some, some freezers have different styles. This freezer has like a two, um, two seal inside, and then it has a single seal here. Well, it's kind of a double, but it has a seal on the outside. So it has these two and then this one. It's the exact same way. So I'm not gonna show how to install this, but it comes off and goes on the same way. It's just one single channel, so it's even easier. And I would just dab some, a nice little glob of, silicone up in that gap, up in that little corner, all the four corners, and then do the same way. You're just, you're just putting, the, uh, putting this piece into the channel, it locks in. Same thing, close the door, keep pressure on it, keep it latched for 24 hours, let everything dry and seat, and then you're good to, get, good to go ahead and use your freezer. Um, so yeah, a good do-it-yourself thing you can do, save yourself some money, not hard and help your freezer run better, stay colder and more efficient, not to worry about frosting, frosting and icing quite as much. Um, so yeah, hope it helped.